Welcome to Suncoast. This video is about Venice, Florida. Venice is located on the western side of Florida, along the Gulf of Mexico, south of Tampa Bay and North Charlotte Harbor. It's within roughly two hours distance from Tampa, Clearwater, St. Petersburg to the north and Fort Myers and Naples to the south. The area is accessible from Interstate 75 and U.S. Highway 41. The video was taken mostly along West Venice Boulevard where the city's downtown is located, which attracts many tourists with its shops, events in the area, arts and of course driving west, the white sandy beaches. Many of the events are staged at Centennial Park, which also features ample parking for visitors. In the early 1800s the area was Noah's Horse and Chase because of a carriage-like tree formation that served as a landmark for fishermen. The name of Venice was suggested by Frank Hegel, who came from France and who thought the area looked like the one in the famous Italian city. Hegel set up a citrus operation with production of various fruit which he canned and sold as jams, pickled orange peel, lemon juice, and orange wine. In the 1920s, Fred Alvey, a renowned orthopedic surgeon, bought 112 acres to develop Venice. John Nolan, a city planner hired by Albi, created the master plan for the streets and the city infrastructure was constructed in 1925 and 1926 by the Brotherhood of Locomotive Engineers who purchased the land from Albi. The western side of Venice Boulevard ends at Venice Municipal Beach. There is ample parking for guests and the beach is wide and beautiful with many amenities. Walking west on West Venice Boulevard from Centennial Park to the beach, the boulevard splits and in the median, there is a beautiful green park. There are two old banyan trees there that are majestic. I've always had a fascination with banyan trees, which are pretty rare in Florida. I became aware of banyan trees many years ago when I was involved in using a hierarchical computer network that was named Banyan Vines. At the time I had not seen a banyan tree or knew how it was different. Years later, walking on Beach Drive in St. Petersburg, I was amazed to see some of the most beautiful specimens of banyan trees. I should probably make a video specifically dedicated to banyan trees. They are fascinating. The banyan tree is special because it can spread outwards indefinitely by developing accessory or aerial prop roots from its branches. These hanging roots grow downward, eventually hitting the ground and taking root. The banyan is part the fig species and they develop their fruit in a structure called a syconium which serves as shelter and food for fig wasps on which the tree depends on for pollination. That's all for now. Until the next time from Suncoast. Thank you for watching and please subscribe to my channel.